Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about the rank system. So with the most recent patch, there was a little update to the rank system. So now, when you win in games or lose games, you get this feedback after the ranked match. Before, you didn't get anything. It just, like, if you ranked up, then it would say, like, plat 2 to plat 3. Well, plat 3 to plat 2 if you ranked up. And it would tell you if you ranked down, but it wouldn't say anything else. Now, we've got this arrow system. So... If you play well, you go up, and if you play poorly, you go down, and there's three on either side. So you can play, like, okay, you can play well, and then you can play very well, or you can, like, do badly, very badly, or, like, extremely badly, and you would go down more arrows depending on how you place. The problem with this is that it makes absolutely no sense, and we still have no idea what's happening, and we don't have any point system to represent how close we are to the next rank. So there's a couple of problems with this. First up, this was a game where I got to rank to, to round three. So we played this game, we got to round three, and I went up one point. So I don't understand that. The way the matchmaking used to work, I mean, the way the rank system used to work is you went up more points for each round you qualified in. I think if you went out in the first round, you lost like 100 points or something. If you went out in the second round, you would get like 25 points or something like that. If you went out in the third round, I think it was like um, 300. And if you... Maybe, you, I think so. Maybe it was like 150. And if you uh, qualified and you won the match in the final round, I think it, you got like 600 or 500 or something like that. Um, so that, like getting to round three is pretty good. I feel like that should at least be two arrow. It should probably be a three arrow because it's probably up a lot. Um, but here we are getting a one arrow upwards, even though we got knocked out in round three. And we came third in round three as well. So we should lose less FP than coming fourth in round three. Um, so this as a whole, just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And the issue as well is that we still don't know what determines how much FP you get. I, I know um, the, the Embark person that did the live stream on the finals channel said something about having like an individual rank in the game. And I think maybe that's what we're seeing here. But it's kind of annoying because we still can't see at all how that works. So like before going out in round three would definitely get, get you like a two arrow, probably a three arrow. And now I just got a one up arrow from this. Um, and I think that's probably because I didn't play very well. I had uh, someone on my team that was maybe, you know, had a very, very good gaming chair. I was just solo queuing, but I, th I think they had a very, very good gaming chair. So I wasn't able to do a whole lot. That teammate would have just got all of the kills. Um, so maybe that's why, maybe because I had a poor performance, I probably had like a negative KD, not so many revives and stuff like that. Maybe that's why I'm only going up one arrow. I don't really know. But the problem with this rank system is that it doesn't tell us what's happening so we don't know how to rank up right like if if you play chess chess is a pretty popular game so i'm going to use that as an example if you play chess if you win a game you go up if you lose a game you go down but also the only other factor that you've got to, you got to factor in for chess is it's dependent on how good your opponents are so if you've got 1700 elo in chess and you beat someone that's a 2000 rated player maybe you go up 15 points for winning that game. But if you're 1,700 in chess and you beat an 1,800 player, maybe you only go up, like, 10 points, right? So that's how chess works, the ELO and chess. And, like, just having an ELO system is very, very safe. And I, for the life of me, have absolutely no idea why that isn't in this game. Um, Like, chess, chess, like, it's very simple in chess. You have an ELO. If you win a game, you go up. If you lose a game, you go down. Unless there's, like, a 3,000 player that wins against a 2,000 player but you'd still go up like half a point or something, right? But this rank system here, we, we came in round three, so we basically beat four other teams, um, and we're still only going up one arrow, which doesn't make sense. It's a really awful matchmaking, I mean, rank system. I'm not even going to get into the matchmaking system, which is even worse, um, but the rank system just still isn't good. Like, great, I can see that I've gone up rank, but I also know that that was happening before. So these arrows are literally not adding anything here. Like, I know if I, like, get knocked out in the third round, I'm going to go up points. I know if I go out in the first round, I'm going to go down points. These arrows don't add anything to the rank system, to the feedback that you get for winning Sasluji matches. Like, everyone already knew, basically, like, they, they basically knew what they were going to get when they won a game or when they lost a game. And this is just adding feedback for something that we already knew, which is, isn't very helpful. 
I understand that the rank system is maybe a little bit complicated, but it would be really, really fantastic to have some idea of what's happening behind the scenes. And I know also there was some bug that the devs wanted to stop people from exploiting, but just fix the bug and then like give us what we want with this rank system like this doesn't add anything like you might as well just not have added this in everyone knew before when you were going up and when you were going down and now people are just left with more questions people are left with well if i went out in round three why did the arrow only go up once instead of the arrow going up three times um it's just left us with more questions and like the rank system has never been very very good but how it was before how the feedback was before was perfectly okay no one ever asked for that to change and that was changed what people were asking to change was the ranked matchmaking system people don't like getting paired with you know someone in silver when they're in diamond and people don't like getting paired with uh diamond players when they're in silver right like vice versa so that's the thing that everyone was asking to change the ranks like feedback system what we had before where you can like visually see your precise fp and you can see precisely how much FP you went up or down when you won or lost matches. No one asked for that to change and that it changed. And also no one asked for the FP system to change. which And they like did a major overhaul of that. But no one asked for that to change either. All that has to change here is the matchmaking. That's literally it. Put people in gold with gold players. Put people in diamond with diamond players. That's, that's all that has to happen. This is not what the player base asked for. I've never seen anyone ask for any type of feedback change until they change the feedback and now everyone wants it to go back to how it was before um but yeah i mean this isn't gonna really be such an informational video or anything like that i just wanted to have a little rant about this because this is actually a little bit ridiculous like why what's the point of these arrows why is it only going up once i don't get it like there's no need for this i know if i win a game I'm going to go up. It's probably going to be three hours up. I know if I lose a game, it's probably going to be two or three hours down. Maybe if I play well, it's one hour down. But like this doesn't add anything. And I still have absolutely no idea how close I am to plat one. Like if I'm super duper close to plat one, probably going to try a little bit harder. If I'm not close at all, probably not going to try so much. Um, but either way, it would just be very, very good to be able to see how close you are to the next rank and that's something we're not currently able to do um and i feel like the devs are kind of changing things that nobody is asking to be changed and i think they're changing things that don't really have an issue right now or at least other things have more issues that should be focused on more um but this doesn't add anything um please just put the fp back to how it was before i understand it's probably like a more complicated system now because you overhauled the system but again no one asked for this system to be overhauled. We just asked for, like, the matchmaking to change, right? That's what doesn't feel good about ranked. Like, no one really... Like, yeah, it's not great that how the rank system works is you basically have to play a bunch of games to get to the highest rank. Like, anyone that's number one on the leaderboards, that's just going to be the person that's played the most and also doesn't suck, right? Um, so, sure, that doesn't feel great. But I think the thing that needs to be focused on fixing the most is having an unranked, a silver, a gold, a plat, and a diamond player all in the same match. Like, that doesn't make sense. Like, I know it's a big lobby, right? I think it's 48 players in the lobby, 4, 8, 12, 16, ugh, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. I think it's 48 players in the lobby, or 64, but I think it's 48. Um, and Battle Royales have 100 or more, right? And in Battle Royales, if you go play Fortnite or something, and you have uh, Legend or whatever the highest rank is, then everyone in that match is going to be that uh, that rank. I think it's called Unreal, actually. Um, everyone in that match with 100 players is going to have Unreal rank, if you're in Unreal as well. And, like, this has half the, you know, half the size. So I wouldn't mind waiting four minutes for a match if it pairs me with the people in my rank. That's the issue here, not the feedback. The feedback was completely fine before, and now the feedback also needs to change. I feel like this has just kind of caused more problems changing this feedback stuff, and also the rank system, and also it hasn't really changed that you still have to like play a lot to get to the highest rank, so it hasn't actually really fixed anything. And now, in this latest patch, we're left with these arrows, and that's just kind of left with players asking more questions I still don't know why when placing in the third place in the third round, I only go up one arrow.
Right, so this has just kind of left me with more questions. I don't know why Embark isn't focusing on fixing the matchmaking more so um, than the rank system right now. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I guess I've talked for a while now, probably gone off the rails a little bit, but I just wanted to have a little rant about this because I think it is a little bit ridiculous at this point. Like, and also leagues, I'm in plat two, and again, we've got no FP bar, so I've got absolutely no idea how close I am to plat one, which is a little bit annoying as well. Um, but yeah, that summarizes this rant. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be it for this video. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell.